Our next story is about gold. It's on fire. Prices have touched a record high this week. Yesterday, gold prices in India crossed the 73,000 mark, 73,000 rupees, that's around 875 US dollars for 10 grams of pure gold. At the beginning of this year, the price was hovering around 65,000 rupees, almost 780 US dollars. So India has seen a sharp increase. What about the international markets? Same story. Globally, gold prices are up by over 16%. And what's driving this rally? The world's central banks, they're buying gold in large quantities and they've been at it for a while. It started with China almost two years ago. China's central bank is called the People's Bank of China or the PBC. It has embarked on a gold buying spree. And how much gold have they bought? 225 metric tons in 2023 alone. Beijing bought more gold than any other central bank last year, and Beijing is not done yet. From January to April, China added more gold to its reserve. In fact, since November 2022, they've been piling it up. As of today, they have more than 2,200 tons of gold. China has 2,200 tons of gold. Why do they need so much of it? What is driving this buying spree? Fear, perhaps recent geopolitical tensions, specifically what happened with Russia. When Russia invaded Ukraine, the West cracked down on Moscow's reserves. They went after Russia's financial assets. These assets were being held by Western institutions. We're talking about some $300 billion. Russian wealth controlled by the West, $300 billion. This was part of Russia's foreign exchange reserves. The West froze all these accounts, so Moscow can no longer access its own money. In fact, there's also talk of giving this money to Ukraine. It's been proposed many times. Give this blocked Russian money to Ukraine. So far, Western powers have resisted. Irrespective, Russia does not have access to its money, and Beijing sees this as a cautionary tale. So it's losing faith in Western financial institutions and buying gold as an insurance, a potential hedge against Western financial instruments, like the American dollar. China still holds a large reserve of the American currency. As of last month, they had over $3 trillion dollars. So Beijing has not completely given up on the greenback, but it's diversifying. And it's not the only one doing so. Diversifying reserves and stocking up on gold. Other central banks are doing the same. From June last year to January this year, at least five other central banks bought gold for eight consecutive months. And which are these banks? Turkey, India, Kazakhstan, Jordan, and the Czech Republic. Each of them bought more than one ton of gold recently. And in this list, India stands out. Its gold purchases have surged, touching almost a two-year high last month. In recent months, India has bought more than 13 tons of gold. So how much gold does the Reserve Bank of India have? More than 800 tons as of January 2024, 800 tons of gold with the RBI. This is believed to be worth more than $50 billion. Now, India's overall reserves in March stood at around $645 billion. And given this number, $645 billion, the value of gold reserves may not be significant. But its, it's rise is, and there is a clear shift. Central banks around the world want to cut risks. They want diversified reserves where they don't have to depend on a single currency or instrument. So if you're looking to buy gold, to invest in it, what should you do? Is it a good time to buy? Well, if you're price sensitive, you may want to wait. The gold market is expected to remain volatile. Prices have already touched record highs, and experts predict more growth through the year. Banks like JP Morgan predict a peak next year, in the second half of 2025. So if you're planning a major gold purchase, if there's a wedding in your family, or if you're just looking to park some cash, chances are you'll have to shell out more money. But if you're just looking to make a quick buck, exercise caution. Just like the central banks of the world, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Think about diversifying your portfolio.